Hey guys, I'm here with Sphinx from Yamaha. We're checking out the Crosscore RC. Tell me a little bit about this platform. Yeah, so the Crosscore RC is our urban bike. It is designed for bike paths, for commuting to work, commuting to school. It's got a great setup designed around that urban commute, that bike path style. Starting up here at the front suspension, you've got a nice comfort suspension fork. It's gonna allow you to ride on a variety of terrain. You've and I'm seeing preload and lockout on that. Preload and lockout, so you got a little bit of adjustment to really dial it in for nice. your body weight and style of riding you wanna do. A little bit larger tire than you find, that way you can get different terrain. Out here in Colorado, the bike path isn't always perfectly smooth, so oh, having sure. a good tire that can handle a variety of terrain. More comfort. Add some confidence. I love the reflective sidewall on that too. Absolutely, reflective sidewall, we're about safety. So you're gonna yeah. also get the integrated headlight along with the reflectors. The bike is designed to be ridden in an urban area, so we want it to be able to stand out. So Ryan, I'm seeing this like integrated light and it's perfectly positioned. It's up high, it's gonna point where you steer. Sometimes I'm, I'm used to seeing them down here and then it you know, can get blocked by a fender or something like that. Um, it looks like on this bike you've got multiple points for bottle cages and other accessories. Is that, that right? Absolutely. A lot of bosses, everything from the bottle cages and then of course going down to the chain stay and the seat stay. Uh, you've got rack. attachments for rear racks, for yeah. fenders. You can really build this exactly how you need it for that commute if you're carrying your bags or whatever you need to bring along the ride. Okay. Uh, let's come over to the other side here. We got a little safety bell integrated battery this is really nice so that is that removable the shield and the battery yeah integrated battery easily comes out with these two bolts here you can remove the cover bring the battery inside for charging or you can charge it right inside the bike Fantastic. and that's of course uh, paired with our pw series st motor mm. and that's something really unique about yamaha is we build the drive units ourselves we're also able to tune this drive unit specifically to the experience that you want to have on this bike mm. so while you have the similar drive unit on the mountain bike and on our gravel bike yeah they're all tuned for the experience based on the actual piece of equipment so again this thing is perfect for riding around the lake cruising from home to school home to work cruising around town nice and simple okay so and is this 180 rotor in the front 160 in the rear yes sir kind of looks like it so we got the hydraulic disc brakes drivetrain it's a one by and i noticed i really like this you've got like a little chain retainer right there so you're yeah, again, we just want to add a little bit of confidence so that when you're riding along, you're not worried about a chain popping off. If you yeah. go over a little bump, you're focusing on the ride, focusing on safety. It's got a Shimano Alivio derailleur with a nine-speed cassette, 11 to 36 tooth spread, which is higher than average. Usually I'll just see 11 to 32. So that large 36 tooth sprocket, that's going to be great for starting, climbing, and really enable this bike to do a bit more off-road riding and even light mountain biking. And it's built to be simple, yeah. built to keep the price down. And with the e-assist, you don't really need 12 gears on this model. Right. The nine gears with the good jumps in between is all you need to be able to get where you're going. And it simplifies it up here. Uh, it, plus, you've got that extra power. And I believe this is a fairly dynamic drive system where it's measuring pedal torque, pedal cadence, maybe yep. rear wheel speed. You've got an integrated speed sensor in the rear hub, so uh -huh. you don't have to worry about anything hanging. There's no magnet. no magnets. You hey, don't have to worry about lining anything up. All integrated in there you've got the torque sensor up front well, I'm looking at the display here it looks pretty nice and I'm noticing a rubber flap do you have like a USB port or something on this Is that maybe look at that yeah micro USB. micro USB maintain your phone maintain your phone you can also charge other devices like a GPS if you get caught in a pinch pretty nice display this is a new one for me pretty it's big it's grayscale you got a dedicated light button on the bottom walk mode Yep, so you've got your walk mode, you've got your standard power mode, so we go to eco, standard, high. Oh, and I love that there's 10 dots on that so that it's a little bit more precise. Um, do you happen to know the battery capacity on this? Around 500 watt hours, something like that? And a lot of these mid drives, it's kind of the European standard, 250 watt nominal, but you, you end up with decent torques. 500 watts a peak. Fantastic, man. Well, you did a great job. And I noticed, as far as the suspension fork, I kind of interrupted you earlier, because I wanted to highlight that it does have some adjustability. It looks like this is a sta tapered steer tube. It is. So you could even upgrade it someday. If you wanted to upgrade the fork, and that's one of the things we love about our partners and the independent bike dealers, is the ability to upgrade your components, maintain the components. It's standard mountain bike uh, gear, so you're not getting a toy, you're not getting something yeah. that's coming from outside of the bike world. Very easy to maintain. Of course, we uh, service and support the motor and the battery and drive unit. 
any bike shop's gonna be able to take care of the rest. The wheel, yeah, but look at this, you guys. Okay, we have these reinforcement eyelets so the rim doesn't crack. That's an upgrade. This is a through axle. Is this boost or not? Do you know? It's so 100 millimeter. Uh, hub spacing, which is fine, but it's still a through axle, so it's extra sturdy. Correct. You've got Suntour's axle. This is the same axle that Suntour uses on their high end enduro bikes. Nice. So you've got the nice bit of strength and again the confidence in the front end to handle the weight of the e bike and the extra speeds. Yeah, for. For a bike that's kind of like, to me it was like, oh, it's like a hybrid, you know, around town kind of thing. You've really got some nice components here. Do you know the price point on this? The sizes, colors kind of thing? So sizes, small, medium, and large. Okay. We've got a, quite a few colors like we have on display. We've got the- Oh, it's orange. the same bike. This yep. is the same bike? Okay. Wow. And I should mention that Although we have a straight top tube, the small has a very low standover height. So it's been very, very popular with those folks that are a little bit smaller that need something that's not gonna be such a burden to get on and off. Thanks for mentioning that. I mean, that keeps the triangle free for those accessories. It makes it stiffer, probably lighter than if you had to make a single tube or, you exactly. know. The mid-step's been popular, but then there's not as much space. Um, I didn't see a rear light. Is that something you could just get like a ex accessory aftermarket? Yeah, a rear light would be an accessory. It is gonna come with your standard reflectors. Okay, and then price point, do you have is Price point on this one is at 3100 3100 And then you have dealers all across the United States? Absolutely. All across the U.S., independent bike dealers, as well as our partners in the motorsports. We Sweet. are one Yamaha, so we work a lot with our motorsport partners. Um, they've already got motorcycles, side-by-sides. Yeah. It's a natural thing to bring in the electric bicycle. Quite a few options. So we're going to look at the other ones. You did great. Thank you. Cheers. I